Gospel of October the 14th, 2015 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you, have, you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love, you love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law! You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take just one, one little part of the letter to the Romans of Paul. You, O oh man, are without excuse, every one of you who passes judgment, for by the standard by which you judge another you condemn yourself, since you, the judge, do the very same things. All right. What do we have? Let us get again into the scene of the gospel. We are the house of that Pharisee that invited the Lord. The Pharisee, as we were reading yesterday, that wasn't really trying to meet the Lord, but just he what all he wanted to do was just to observe this master, this Jesus of Nazareth. He absolutely had no regard for him. He didn't believe that he was anything particular, anything important. He was just a teacher and perhaps a pretty bad one. And so the Pharisee was amazed that this teacher did not observe the right of cleansing. From that point on, the Lord is trying with love to save them. And that is why he is trying to show them what's in their hearts and what's in their ways. What to you? You pay tithes of mint and rue and of every, and of every garden herb. It is incredible to think, just think for one instance, that you have a, a big garden and then you have the, the mint. And all of a sudden you see, oh, okay, I have 10 little plants of mint. So I'm going to grab, what, grab one plant and give it to the altar. And then, oh, okay, I have 20 little rues. So I'm going to have two of them and, and put it in the altar. Isn't that foolishness? They are trying to be so perfect in so little ways. But the Lord reminds them, you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. Which are exactly the main things that they should have been doing. Woe to you, for you love the seat of honor and greetings in marketplace. You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Nobody wanted to walk upon the graves. First of all, and even today, because to anyone it seems to be a lack of respect. But also, it has a sense, a sense of horror, I could say, of horror, to think that you're stepping on somebody's tongue. And the Lord says, you are like unseen graves, because what is wrong, what is weak, is inside of you. And people get above you, get, get close to you, but they do not know that. It is so easy for us to follow, I mean, to follow and to fall into that categories. To pay the little things and forget. Oh, I, every, every day, every time I go to Mass, I take out five dollars and deposit it at the, at the offer for, for the altar. So I am doing very good. I, I'm giving alimony. I'm giving out. That is not the way. But then I get out and I quarrel with my wife. I fight with my boss. I'm cursing everyone. I drive like a crazy madman. You are forgetting about judgment and the love for God. You could even forget about the fights of mint and rue as long as you really loved God and kept an eye on judgment. 
what good is it? Is, is it not easy for all of us to fall into that love of the seats of honor and the greetings? We all like it. Hey, you're successful. Come, sit on the first row. Oh, you, you are renowned. You are famous. And our arrogance grows. And it takes us away from God. Think about the politicians. Think about even some members of police. Think about some priests that become so segregated, so separated, they, that they might easily become like Pharisees. But not only that, think about yourself and myself whenever we act like that. The scholar is scandalized. You are insulting us too, teacher. What to you, scholars of the law? You impose burdens on people's heart to carry, but you yourselves do not want to lift one finger to touch them. Many times, when we become dogmatic, we want to impose dogma on everyone else. And then, the particular way that we interpret that dogma, that, that dogma, it doesn't mean most of the times that we are well versed that we can specify and know the length and the depth of the dogma that we're talking about. We just learned a little bit and then we use that as a maze to hit everyone's head. And that's what the Lord says to us. Woe to you. We were reading the first, re the first reading from the Romans because God himself, God himself tells us we shall not judge and much less condemn any other one. Yet how many times we can start from the priest, especially some of them old age or the ones that are not well formed, that forget, that forget, that forget the love of God and start condemning everyone. Oh that and that and that they are going to hell certainly because it's such and such and such. How do they know? How do they know? But not only them, everyone of us can fall into that temptation. Today the Lord reminds us what is central, the law of God and judgment. By the law of God, we must remember that God loves everyone, even that God loves the sinner and does not want anyone to be lost. He does not want any of his children to be lost. And that is why he sends his prophets, he sends you and me, so that we would be able to help our brothers find the way, not to condemn them, but to show them the love of God. And we can only show them if we ourselves learn to love him, Truly, always, until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.